The dogs have been a member of the human community from the beginning of their domestication. They are used to defend livestock and also as police dogs, or sometimes as domestic pets performing tricks because of their instinctive warding ability. Noticeably wise animals, pets definitely make trustworthy and pleasant companions. Though often described as the best friend of man, these creatures were naturally not designed to interact with human beings. Incidents of dogs assaulting owners or other individuals have been recorded from time to time. Although serious situations are uncommon, it is always necessary for us to be mindful of the dangers and obligations of owning pets. Below is our list of the world's 10 most dangerous dog breeds. Welcome to Animalverse. We bring you the list of top 10 most dangerous dog breed in the world. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new content. Number 10 is Siberian Husky. Huskies were a traditional breed of domesticated dogs in northern regions used as sled dogs. This breed is very athletic and strong enough with thick coats to move the heavy luggage. Huskies have a unique pattern of color fur and an impressive face mask with special blue eyes. Many Huskies enjoy humans and are contact engaging animals. Husky owners identify their dog as polite, wise, alert, and friendly. Huskies, however, are always fired up and hyperactive, resulting in aggressive dog behavior that can certainly come out somehow or other. It's not a great idea to hold large dogs with young children, especially if the dog is inexperienced with people concerned with it. Things can go wrong with children left with a Husky alone. The Siberian Huskies, though, is a deadly breed, irrespective of the variation of size and age of the casualty. Number 9 is Boxer. Boxers are fighting puppies, and during our searches, we humans use them as canine assailants. We have a good impact on the jaw and canine bite perfect for defending. Many boxers are dominating dogs and show violence towards other breeds. Sometimes they are also aggressive towards humans. Shabbily trained or bred boxers may cause significant harm to a human, particularly a child. Boxers were originally bred as companion dogs for hunting in Germany, and sometimes for dog fighting. You'll never learn whether to come in or what violent impulses will. If teaching boxers, one more point to consider is that we should resist threats and rough discipline because it could anger them. Number 8 is Akita. Akita Inu is a big and efficient dog breed with a noble and intimidating personality. They were originally used for the defense of kingship and royalty in feudal Japan. It also taught this breed to kill wild boars, black bears, and occasionally deer. An Akita doesn't stand still or be quickly intimidated by attacks. Therefore, they are their family's courageous and faithful stewards, but only if properly socialized and trained. They are caring, friendly, and fun dogs. When an Akita dog is in nervous condition, when upset, it is possibly vulnerable to attack. It is a courageous and obedient dog who is instinctively vigilant against strangers but also faithful to its owners. Often they are hostile to other dogs, particularly the same sex ones. This is why Akitas is best suited for single pet households, otherwise other dogs might be harmed. Number 7 is Alaskan Malamute. A Malamute from Alaska is like the Husky from Siberia or Russia, which is a far bigger breed. They're not mean pets in general, as many parents can claim, because Malamutes are gentle with humans, even kids. Mushers use some large dogs in snowy areas for freight transport. A Malamute retains a deep prey desire for their ancestors to track down and catch prey. Malamutes have been assaulting at least three people in the United States since 2005. Two killed were children. Four individuals in Canada suffered from dog attacks by sled dogs between 1990 and 2007, according to the Canadian Veterinary Medicine Association. It's unclear how many incidents involve the Malamute. Their behavior could be violent unless we find a way to transmute their hyperactivity or use it for their work. It's probably incompetent owners who drive the Malamute to show off aggression against dogs. Such dogs need physical and emotional stimuli to ensure sound mind and body. We weigh up to 50 kilograms, and the confrontation with an angry Alaskan Malamute will certainly prove dangerous. Number six is Mastiff, English and Bull. Bull Mastiffs are highly knowledgeable, lively, and competitive. These dogs are highly prone to protection and good for durability. With consistent training from an early age, these dogs become incredibly dependable and obedient. 
However, as with all dogs, the Mastiff can be an aggressive breed for several reasons. They ought to prepare Mastiffs for socialization early on. With adequate preparation, dogs begin to differentiate between nice men and bad guys behavior. Usually they measure about 36 inches long and can weigh up to 230 pounds. You as an owner, or whether you suggest buying it, have a lot of obligation to educate this powerful breed, trying to retain an English Mastiff. Number five is Wolf Hybrid. Owning a pet gray wolf isn't a good idea, and worse still, owns a wolf dog. As you can predict a normal wolf's behavior, but can't understand what a wolf dog could do. Wolves are one of the toughest and largest carnivores, let alone canines in general. Many breeders claim the hybrids are cautious of humans, whilst others suggest these hybrid dogs typically have the fighting instincts of the wolf, finding out that hybrids may be the toughest dog breed in the country. Between 1982 and 2014, 19 deaths were apparently caused by wolf hybrids. They have their own wild and demanding minds. Many states have already forbidden ownership of a wolf dog like pet in the house. Number four is Doberman Pinschers. The Doberman Pinscher, like the police, is a fearless dog often used in special forces. Dobermans can weigh up to 100 pounds against other 28-inch tall dogs. Since they have too much energy, owners will train them appropriately as soon as possible. The biggest concern about raising a large breed of dogs is the ability to execute proper obedience training. They are, of course, smart dog breeds, yet they dominate roll and weight, making studying a little difficult, too. Most owners of Doberman would describe their dogs as faithful, obedient, active, alert, and courageous. Although the breeding people have sought to alleviate the frustration in recent decades, today the Doberman often reacts to outsiders with the most significant hostility. Number three is German Shepherd. A German Shepherd is a breed which originated in Germany as cattle dogs back in the 1800s. The German Shepherd, also known as the Alsatian, is the second most common dog breed in the United States. No socialization and discipline will render certain dogs, mostly strangers and smaller dogs prone to target humans. The average German Shepherd belonging to the household is of the view that he has one duty to defend the house. Accidents with this sort of mindset may occur. As long as German Shepherds consider someone or something as dangerous to the group, so long as it is possible, the German Shepherd would strike and protect his family, humans, or other dogs. The assault may be dangerous and often deadly, since it is 25 inches long and weighs at 80 pounds with 300 pounds of bite force. It's a pure show of their tremendous biting ability. They can hurt small children by accident, even if they don't want to. The German Shepherd is the common housekeeper in the USA by far. Except for Rottweiler, they are the most aggressive dog types in America. Deutsch and French trained them as combat puppies during World War II. Number two is Rottweiler. Rottweilers are the most dangerous dog breeds in America, also known as bad family dogs, especially for households where the owner is an amateur with no calm and confident personality. You need to be disciplined and alert constantly to avoid dangerous reactions. And then, as return, you get one of the fiercest pets in the world who will protect you. They do whatever they can to defend the pack, you or your family, even though the Rottweiler is typically a nice puppy. Many owners will call them trustworthy, intimidating, courageous, and loyal. All the deaths may have been the robber's attempt to reach the house. Number one is Pitbull. The Pitbull is undoubtedly the most notorious dog type on the planet. They are deemed unreliable and violent even by their owners or relatives. State and municipal jurisdictions around the globe are stringent in curbing possession of this dog through introducing unique laws. A common pit bull was originally raised as combat dogs and combines intense violence, power, and dedication for an assault. Pit bulls are commonly involved in fatal assaults on adults aged 21 to 54. Pit bull is battle puppies, who they try to do their work with dedication before it's over. They have powerful bite force jaws and are well known for not releasing their bite. This was like dragging a metal bar hit through automotive machines to push the bone out of the growling jaw. His anger cost me a lot of dollars purchasing a new industrial chain because he tended to break down anyway. I chose industrial chains because he used to quickly snap rope or band. American Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the dog breed which ends in combination with the power of an American Bulldog and the Terrier's agile capacity. 
Until now, pit bull is used in dog combat, in certain places where the pets are conditioned to battle over rights before death. All those factors make pit bull the strongest yet deadliest breed of dogs in the world. Dogs in the world.